Welcome to the Top Rank Marketing Digital Marketing News Roundup. I'm Tiffany Allen. And I'm Joshua Knight. Or at least that's what some would have you believe. Mm -hmm. There may be reason for people to be a little untrusting of things that people say, especially on social media these days and in this climate of things that are happening. A lot of things. Yep. Uh, HubSpot observed that and they decided, as the good people at HubSpot do, to try and quantify that a little bit. So uh, they went out and asked a thousand people how they felt, uh, how their trust level was for certain social media sites in light of little things like, you know, huge Russian interference and posting ads on right. all kind, you know, manipulation of the, the very pillars of our mm -hmm. democracy and life, some would say. Uh, small things, all, all told. But mm -hmm. uh, they asked, do you still trust these social sites? after you know anything and everything that's been going on so we saw that uh, 43 percent said that they now find ads on facebook and twitter untrustworthy mm. 38 percent said that they found ads on google untrustworthy so there's a little bit of a, a disconnect there people are a little more trusting of google uh, as companies though not just as the ads 42 percent said they find facebook less trustworthy 37 percent for twitter and again 30 percent for google mm. Uh, over 70% of them said that they that these platforms should be vetting the ads that they display to make yeah. sure that we're not getting fake news. Although the funny thing that I thought about this story, so then they said, okay, so you don't trust these sites anymore. How likely are you to stop using them? <laughs> How likely do you think it, it was? Zero percent. Not so likely. 15% uh, <laughs> oh. about said they plan to stop using Facebook and Twitter. And 6% said Google they would stop using, which... I find that kind of Good amazing. Luck. Yeah, those 6%, <laughs> they're like, it's bing or die now, man. Uh, bing or die. We're going to ask Jeeves again. What do you, how, what, what, things are powered by Google at the time. You can't possibly know. No every more YouTube. Time you're using Google. Mm -mm. No uh, YouTube's for you. See what happens. Well, in other Google news, Josh, oh, yeah. true story, AdWords Editor has made updates to support some of the new features that they now allow you to use in AdWords, which is great. We love Google updates. Um, so basically, like the Gmail asset-based ads, for example, you can now do in the AdWords editor, um, fully supported, of course. Uh, campaign total budgets for video campaigns, you can now choose those in video campaigns through the AdWords editor. Um, you can also update um, video extensions, video campaign extensions through mm -hmm. AdWords editor. So these are kind of smaller things, but just makes the life easier in the day-to-day -day for the PPC professional. Mm -hmm. um, also kind of showcases Google's commitment to making it easier for folks to use their platforms as well as enabling these kind of mobile first, video first sort of um, in imperatives that they've issued themselves. It seems like they're trying to shape the internet to be what they want it to be. Uh, I'm not sure if I trust them. Mm, Am I going to keep using them? Yep. You betcha. <laughs> I've also been thinking about getting video extensions. Oh, yeah. Right That'd be yeah, beautiful. Be lovely. It's the wave of the future. It really is. You know what might not be the wave of the future, though? I don't know. Facebook. Mm, again. It seems like every week we could pick a story that is, Facebook is on the rise or Facebook is on the decline. Mm -hmm. uh, so this particular week, this story comes to us from Verto Analytics. They are saying that they have seen a sharp, sharp drop, a short, sharp shock in the time spent on Facebook. So. Mm. Last year, they were saying that people were spending 32 hours per year on the platform. Seems conservative to me. Uh, but now it's only 18 years, or 18 years, 18 hours in uh, 2017. Really? Yeah, if you were spending 18 years on Facebook in a single year, then one, tell me your time traveling secrets, yeah. and two, stop. Do something else. Yeah, time go outside, course. yeah. Uh, the number of sessions are down too, though. So we had like 311 sessions in 2016, average, for a user per year, 173 in 2017. So that's dropped a little bit too. Um, the interesting thing though, the people who reported this, this survey were the folks at eMarketer and they said their research shows that the daily time online is staying constant. Interesting. So from 41 minutes to 40 minutes was the decrease, so not huge. Mm -hmm. But it does look like this traffic is slowly declining, a lot slower than people anticipated, but and that traffic is going to apps like Snapchat. They saw gains in hours spent with their platform up from three, up to four. And uh, sessions per user went up from 119 to 144. Mm. So Snapchat's picking up a little bit of it, but my money is that most of that traffic is going to dark social. Dark social. By which I mean private messaging apps, talking messenger, WhatsApp, that kind of thing. So 
I think that's the next frontier for marketers. Facebook isn't going away anytime soon, but no. they are going to have a progressively smaller piece of the pie. Which makes sense if you think about it. The more you innovate, the more you have to diversify your you know, network of folks. Mm -hmm. Right? Now I want pie. Yes, we've been talking about pie a lot today, I feel yeah. like, just generally speaking, Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Um, so another thing that I'm thankful for, Josh. What's that? Our ranking studies that oh, tell no. us what the key ranking factors are for search engines going forward um, and also in this year. So SEMrush just updated or released a new study um, that shows the key ranking factors for 2017. What I found most exciting and kind of interesting about this is that direct traffic to your website is starting to impact your organic rankings. Mm. I mean, not starting, but like having a bigger bigger effect on those, which I think is great. Of mm. course, if folks are finding your site directly, they're returning, they're sticking around, it's all good things. Um, of course, it's kind of this continuation of the trend of engagement metrics being really the biggest deal for your organic traffic. So uh, time on site, pages per session, your average bounce rate, you know, are folks looking through your content or they're getting to your website and going, oh no, not again, not this. <laughs> um, Never again. Right? So quality, we're seeing this emphasis on quality over quantity. For example, all of the kind of keyword related metrics, so keyword in the title, keyword in the meta description, keyword in the body content are still important. They still rank on this uh, list of factors, but they're near the bottom, kind of like how video embed on the page is now near the bottom of that list as well. Hmm. That makes sense. And it, as a content person, that makes me happy that it's more about writing for people, and the more the people enjoy your content, the better the robots will rank it. So I'm all for it. I am also for it. I believe that we can get top rankings hmm. with those tactics. <laughs> we'll be back next week with more digital marketing news. If you need more in the meantime, peruse the post or <laughs> check out at top rank on Twitter or at Tiffany underscore Allen. And reliable sources say that I can be found on Twitter at Knight Writes. That's N I T E W R I T E S. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.